Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. Job 42. And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Now the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. Have you read Job? A lot of tragedy in Job, Job's life. and He had a lot of questions for God. A lot of why questions. And if you've read Job, you know that God never answered his questions. Never told Job the why of all his suffering. In fact, in Job 38 and 40, God said to Job, I will question you and you shall answer me. God doesn't owe us any explanations. We owe him explanations. God is not on trial. We are on trial. He's the creator and judge of the whole universe. Only he can give life and only he can take life. And one day we will all stand before him, either at the judgment seat of Christ or the great white throne judgment, and we will give an answer. We will give an account for what we did in this life and what we did with Jesus. And if you're a child of God, what we did with so great a salvation and the gifts and talents and abilities he graced us with, trusted us with. God doesn't always answer our why questions, but one day we will answer his. But for now, understand that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, I pray today as Jesus prayed in Gethsemane, not my will, but your will be done in my life. Many things I don't understand, but I trust in you, Lord. I know that you are leading me in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake, and that's enough. Holy Spirit, give me the gifts of knowledge and wisdom and discernment for this generation, for this age. Jesus, you are my shepherd, and I have put my faith in you, and where you lead, I will follow. My times are in your hand. In the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen.